Hey, it's Apple Buff and welcome back to the channel and in this video we're gonna see how even you can fix the problem of Apple logo stuck on white screen. So without a further ado, let's roll the video. Just in case if your iPhone is stuck on white screen Apple logo and you want to fix it without spending much of a time, then you should make use of the Fixpo software by iMyPhone who are known for making easy to use softwares that provide solutions to the problems related to iPhones, iPods and iPads. And talking about the software itself, the Fixpo software is a professional tool that has been built to fix various iOS related problems easily, quickly and without any data loss. The software is available for both Windows and Mac and the link to the software is in the description down below so don't forget to check that out. On the homepage you get to see its two options that basically are the modes which are being provided to you by the software and you can use any one of them according to your iOS system problem. In this video, I'll take you through both of them. To start off, let's go with standard mode that is capable of fixing most common iOS issues without any data loss. After selecting the option, the first thing you need to do is connect your iPhone to the PC so that the software learns about your device. But before we begin fixing the problem of Apple logo stuck on white screen, it's always recommended to first enter recovery mode to ensure a safe and a secure repair. Once done, the software will provide you with the firmware package that is needed to fix the specific problem faced by you. Once the firmware has been downloaded, the process of verification and extraction of the firmware package will begin. Once done, just tap start to let the software begin the process of repair. Just after the process of repair is completed, the connected device will restart. Just in case if the standard repair mode fails to fix the specific iOS issue, the software also offers advanced mode that is designed to fix crucial software related issues and even offers a higher success rate. And just like before, we need to download the recommended firmware package. Once downloaded, verified and even extracted, just click on the blue button that says start and just wait for the process to get completed. Also during this process, the software will factory reset your connected iDevice just after the process of repair is completed, you can proceed to set up the connected iDevice and even unplug it. So with that being said, here's Apple Buff signing off. Catch you in the next one. Till then, peace.